You are getting ready for your graduation party, so you buy six cases of soda. Each case has 24 cans of soda, and each can holds 12 fluid ounces. How many gallons of soda did you purchase? Round your answer to the nearest hundredth of a gallon if needed. Step one is to find the total number of fluid ounces in the six cases of soda. Step two is to convert the number of fluid ounces to gallons. To find the total number of fluid ounces, we begin with six cases as a fraction with a denominator of one. Next, we multiply by the rate of 24 cans per one case. Notice how we multiply by the rate of 24 cans per one case, not the rate of one case per 24 cans, because by multiplying by the rate of 24 cans per one case, notice how we have cases in the numerator and denominator, and therefore cases simplify out, leaving us with cans. Next, we multiply by the rate of 12 fluid ounces per one can, Notice we multiply by this rate so that we have cans in the numerator and denominator, and therefore cans simplify out, leaving us with fluid ounces. When multiplying, notice how we have a denominator of one, and therefore we have six times 24 times 12 fluid ounces. Going to the calculator, six times 24 times 12, is equal to 1,728. You have a total of 1,728 fluid ounces. Step two, we now convert 1,728 fluid ounces to gallons by multiplying by unit fractions using the conversions one cup equals eight fluid ounces, one quart equals four cups, and one gallon equals four quarts. We begin by writing 1,728 fluid ounces as a fraction with the denominator of one, and because we will be using three conversions, we will multiply by three unit fractions, and therefore the setup will look like this. Let's first convert fluid ounces to cups using the conversion one cup equals eight fluid ounces. We multiply by the unit fraction of one cup over eight fluid ounces. We are multiplying by this unit fraction so that we have fluid ounces in the numerator and denominator when multiplying, fluid ounces simplify out. Next, we convert cups to quarts by multiplying by the unit fraction of one quart over four cups. Notice when multiplying, notice cups will simplify out, leaving us with quarts. And finally, we convert quarts to gallons by multiplying by the unit fraction of one gallon over four quarts. Notice quarts simplify out, leaving us with gallons. Multiplying, in the numerator, we have 1,728. In the denominator, we have the product of eight, four, and four. And now the units are gallons. And now we go back to the calculator. I'm gonna go ahead and use the fraction format key here, A over B. We have 1,728 divided by the product of eight, four, and four which is equal to 13.5 gallons. You have a total of 13.5 gallons of soda. Notice how there's no need to round to the nearest hundredth of a gallon because we have the exact value to one decimal place or the tenths place value. I hope you found this helpful.